The Nigerian Bar Association hosted the 62nd edition of its annual general conference, which discussed the theme, Bold Transitions in Lagos. Giving his opening remarks, the president of the NBA, Mr. Lumidi Akpata, said the theme was apt as it captured the transition from one executive to another and Nigeria's preparation for another shift in government. The annual conference is our flagship event, and the historical successes of previous conferences have made the AGC a permanent fixture in the NBA calendar that notably brings together distinguished public figures, thought leaders, and captains of industry to interrogate crucial issues in law, business, and governance. The AGC also provides a veritable avenue for networking amongst our members with political and business leaders, international organizations, and other relevant stakeholders with significant economic impact, especially for the host city. Distinguished delegates and special guests, the cardinal objective of this conference is to stage a world-class conference with in-depth discourse on critical issues affecting the legal profession and the country in general, facilitated by the most eminently qualified resource persons. Our choice of the theme was driven by the realization that all around us are instances of transition in the different spheres of our national lives. From the MBA itself, where a newly elected president and executive committee are scheduled to take up the reins of power, to the national level, where activities are on top gear for the 2023 general elections that will birth a democratic transition from one elected president to another for the fifth time in the fourth Republic. Keynote speaker and international award-winning writer Chimamanda Adichie believed entrenching the rule of law is a critical way to ensure Nigeria is salvaged from crisis. Every lawyer who acts to uphold the rule of law is a hero. Because <laughs> because the truth is that this country is in utter disarray. As Igbo people say, Ifa Maropolo, things are not standing well. Life is hard and getting harder for a vast majority of Nigerians. We must save the soul of our nation. And we cannot, and we cannot save the soul of our nation without the rule of law. The event featured two plenary sessions that discussed democratic transitions in 21st century Nigeria, 2023 and beyond, and energy transitions, revenue challenges for the Nigerian Federation. What is important for a Nigerian leader of the next dispensation must be a leader who has a mastery of financial management capabilities and someone who understands the Nigerian psychology. Someone who appreciates and understands the complexity of the Nigerian nation. Now next year, the election you're going to have next year will not be about, remember, it is not about tribe, no religion, not connection, not entitlement. It must be election about character, competence, capacity, and commitment to deliver. I want to state that since the return of democracy, in 1998-99, Nigeria has never found itself in such a very, very critical joint in her history. And also experience beckon on us to make sure that we don't get it wrong at this point in time. Otherwise, if we get it wrong at this point in time, I don't know when we will ever get it right. Mr. Lumide Akwata, Chimamanda Adichie, and celebrity actor and lawyer, Kanayo Kanayo, speak on the conference and key takeaways. What's really important is that we implement the laws that we have, and we also really need to just have a system in which consequences exist and consequences are real, so that if laws are broken, there are consequences that follow. We promote bad behavior, 
we we don't uh, we don't allow for accountability and there is no system that can make progress where there is no punishment for bad behavior i can tell you of other societies where uh, they have it entrenched in their laws in their psyche that if you do the wrong thing you will pay for it so our people those in government those who are you know i always say we're on a broken system and nobody wants to fix it because they hope to be the next beneficiary that's the problem so all this talk if we don't go into our systemic defects and begin to fix them we have a problem the major problem i find in this country is impunity and impunity has to do with a breach of the rule of law where people come into office, all they think about is uh, how to um, play politics with the lives of the people. So if we can entrench the rule of law, we will have less problems in 2023. Elections will be transparent. And then people can believe that whoever is elected is the right person who won the office. So Nigeria must borrow from the NBA in uh, its election strategies and ensure that, if we, because if we get it right in 2023, there will be less tension because people would have voted who they want. But what betide people who think that they can install any kind of leadership in Nigeria in 23? Because I think there's some, there are some people who have entrenched interest, and they're mostly the youths, to battle it out with anybody who thinks it's business as usual. A major point from the 62nd NBA conference is the fact that amidst Nigeria's socioeconomic challenges, a legal system that ensures there are consequences for bad behavior is vital to guaranteeing that impunity does not prevail over justice and equity.